because you never know Hi. who might need to be rescued. Behind that healthy smile, there's a crest kid. In a week of lies. Was your uncle in love with Laura Spencer? And secrets revealed. You're my mother. I'm Nikos Catherine's illegitimate daughter. Who will pay the price? I want to be in love. I want to be with Jason. One bullet in that choice is gone. With a broken heart. Just leave me out of it. General Hospital, ABC Daytime. Here's the verdict. <laughs> the best of the bunch. It practices good television. This is as good as it gets. The Practice, ABC Sundays. Max seduced Gabrielle. Max's bar. I love you. Tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. And before you know it, bang. Her legs are wrapped around him in unbridled passion. Their love scenes. That's what makes them unforgettable. Have you ever been around a couple where they're married or not married who can't keep their hands off each other? And it's almost embarrassing to be around them because they really could give a damn about anybody else. For these two characters, Max and Gabrielle, it most definitely was uh, the core of, of their existence. Occasionally, you see someone and you're drawn to them like a magnet. There's usually some need within you that compels you to go into this very, very dark, scary place where you know you're going to get smashed up pretty bad, and that's pretty much what they were for each other. You're always beautiful. But especially when you laugh, because then your nose crinkles up that way. Would you please eat your food? Someone lost my appetite. The food. She was so thirsty. She wanted to be... Uh, drenched all the time with affection, love, the little bit that he gave, it just wet the appetite for more and more and more. His hunger for her was strictly sexual. She obsessed, she stalked him. She married his brother just to be close to him. I told Fiona that the one thing that really sets apart a soap opera couple is a love scene. I've searched out music appropriate for where these two people were emotionally. We would have the entire set. So we would have everybody leave. No one could be there except absolutely essential people. It was very choreographed in a sense, even though we had a lot working for us, naturally. Movement between two people in a love scene is critical. You don't just come together and kiss and stay there. I mean, you, there's a life, there's a physical life that goes on. We had two performers who absolutely committed to the reality of the moment. It just exploded there. So, something in the stars. I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of good love scenes with a lot of very talented women. For me, the, the one key has always been that I absolutely believe I'm in love with them. Fiona and I uh, were willing to pay a very heavy price emotionally to make those kind of commitments to the scenes. Since the day I ever met you, you have ruined my life and I will never, never forget you! <laughs> she was desperate because she wasn't going to have the man she wanted. Unrequited love is, is a very sad and full emotion because you want something so badly you're willing to do anything to get it. Max had finally decided that he, he was in love with Gabrielle and she pretty much turned her back on the world at that point and he was uh, not going to take no for an answer. You'd be so much better off without me. How much pain do you have to go through before you realize that? Please, Passion is something that happens when two people come together that have incredible love for each other. I'm not going to let you go. Do you hear me? Never. No! Yes! Obsession is something when two people come together that have incredible need for each other. It's what we both need. Yes. Yes, I need you. I love you. Oh, I love you. One grows and continues on, and the other 
feeds on itself until it dies. This is the, the dirty side of romance. This relationship is very twisted, very sick, but yet extremely romantic. I do believe that when you love somebody and when you proclaim your love to them, you tell them you love them, you love them for the rest of your life. She's the, the, the part of his heart that makes him think twice, which is what makes uh, her so, so powerful. She had second thoughts about his reputation, and he was trying to say to her, look, no matter what you think of my past, it's obvious that you, know, you have feelings for me. Do you feel like you can't catch your breath? And you're, you, you think you're, you're just about to fall? Yeah. And, and, and you know that no matter how far you fall, you're never going to hit the ground. But you're just so far above it. And you just keep getting higher and higher and higher. And you're afraid you're never going to come down. Yeah. Yeah, that's it exactly. Yeah. It's never occurred to you, has it? No, why? What are you talking about? You're in love with me. Tad's therapies and his need to be connected and his need to be loved, you know, is, um, is deeply, deeply touching. I adore him. Adore him. She saw within him the best, the best person she'd ever met in her life. When Tad slept with Liza, it, um, it destroyed it. It destroyed the sacredness of their relationship. And how can you build a life with somebody you always like? Wondering, what are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you talking to? That's the way to live. You don't punish me. Punish me, but don't punish yourself. Don't punish Junior. I need you. I think she misses him terribly. There's an emptiness, you know, in her life without this man. Don't I know you from someplace? A very long time ago. Sometimes if you still love someone, and it's just a matter of being able to forgive them, you still want them back. 